Hello, welcome back to Bruce's and Vaccine series. Today we'll be talking about, about NVIDIA's quarter one earnings. So to, to beginning our, our financial statements, we can see NVIDIA's revenue has an increase of 83.8% on a year-over-year -year basis from quarter one 2021 to quarter one 2020. Quarter one 2020, Revenue came in at about 3.08 billion versus quarter one 2021. Revenue comes in at 5.661 billion. A lot of this is driven by due to stay at home orders and also working from home. Therefore, costs a lot of increase in demand for technology services. That's why we see Nvidia had a big increase in revenue. And also, gross profit has also increased nicely at 81.08%. Gross profit increased, you know, just as much as the revenue, which is which is a good sign. And now we get to income from operation. This is their um, their earnings before interest and tax. If you look at here, their earnings before interest and tax in quarter one 2020 is at 976 million. Right now it's at 1.95 billion dollars. So this is 100.41%. Net income increased 108.51% in net income. So overall, net income increased, you know, 100 plus percent. Earnings before interest tax increased 100 plus percent. And then revenue and gross profit increased, you know, 70 plus percent. Overall, this is a very nice, massive increase for a company, you know. You know, it's this old, I mean, NVIDIA is quite an old company. Let's look up. When was NVIDIA founded? So the company is founded in 1993 and the post, you know, for companies, you know, it's this old, founded in 1993, post growth and revenue and net income like this, that is just absolutely impressive. And if you look at here, their earnings per share increase, you know, more than double on year over year basis, which is, again, Absolutely amazing news here we can see. Now let's get down to balance sheet to see the financial strength of the company. We can see that under assets, NVIDIA's, NVIDIA's market for security, that's like treasury bills, has a, has a slightly increase in buying. Accounts receivable increase dramatically. You know, that's expected because when you have when you have that much increased revenue, expect you know a portion of it. It's on selling on account. Let's see how much the sales are actually on account. We can see that, that about fifty four percent. So actually, to 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 be exact, fifty three point four two percent of the sales are on account. What that means is most of the sales they're not collecting the money right away they're collecting money at some time down the road and even with that their current ratio it's at 4.52 x that is absolutely amazing usually you want this at you know like 1.3 1.4 at 4.52 that's even better total asset or total liability is at 2.56 x that's a very nice ratio of a total asset over total liability Now let's get down to the um, cash flow statement. Operating activity increased 106.16%. That's expected, you know, due to tax service. It's been highly demanded. And here's the most important news. So in, in last year, September 13th, they entered a, uh, an agreement to buy a company called Arm. So for those who are not familiar with ARM, this is a company in the UK. Right now it's owned by SoftBank from SoftBank at the moment. ARM is like basically a company that makes a lot of important components for like for like Apple and and also other chip makers. So basically if NVIDIA can successfully acquire this, they basically can be able to, you know, have some dominance in other chip makers. They said right here at the time of of the signing, they pay two billion dollars and they will pay upon closing the acquisition of 10 billion cash and also issue 44.3 million shares of the common stock. And those stocks will be worth $21.5 billion. 
and overall nvidia reported a very nice earnings we can see here cash flow cash flow is you know it's going up nicely from the operating activities dividends is you know it's consistent it looks like their acquisition of arm is going according to plan so far and also the company's balance sheet is you know just as it's you know just absolute monster consider how old this company is revenue growth is very high consider you know how old nvidia is you know this company's you know more than 20 years old they post number like this you know that's it's hard to find a company that's able to grow the revenue like this much especially how old it is and if we look at here for nvidia some of their um, revenue by the market stick that they're in so gaming we see some nice consistent growth here in gaming data center you know data center you know we can see uh, over on a quarter to quarter basis in year over year basis we see a massive growth in data center the reason being is you know when people working from home, data center service is highly demanded therefore therefore it is causing them to have the biggest growth you know especially with stay home stay home orders basically working and working from home fuel a lot of growth in this the auto in my opinion, this is going to be like, if you play this long term, this number here could be the biggest growth driver we can see. Because we have, you know, people adopting electric vehicle, electric vehicle, especially with self driving technology requires a lot of chips and NVIDIA. It's, um, they're like, basically on the front line of the, of the, the on the scale for chips. We know NVIDIA has a, uh, not that long ago, NVIDIA chips in neo et7 that's for those that are not not, not familiar with neo et7 neo is an electric vehicle company out in china they actually released it their very first sedan and they pick nvidia's chip inside so i can see nvidia here has some of the oh i think over here autos in my opinion is going to be the big growth driver so growth driver is GW, GD, gaming and data center. I see consistent growth. That's going to be their cash cow over here. And if you look at here, the total revenue, and we, we can see total revenue from quarter one, fiscal year 2022. So for some reason, there, fiscal year 2022, in, in quarter two, fiscal year 2020, they have a revenue increase between those two quarters 11, 11, 19. 119.5 percent they have eight it shows they show eight quarters here on average this is growing at 14.93 percent per quarter in revenue that is you know absolutely impressive again consider how old nvidia is as a company and also we also see some other important news about nvidia nvidia actually did a stock split Here, Yahoo Finance, NVIDIA announced a four to one stock split. And this stock split, what will happen is that on, on June 21, you will get three new shares. You will get three new shares on July 19th. And then we're starting to trade as that split on July 20th. So July 19th, it's the Monday. so. So basically on July 20th on a Tuesday, you get, you know, more shares. And let's see what kind of earnings they're announcing. Today, NVIDIA earnings. You can see NVIDIA sales, you know, hit records like I show over here. Like I showed earlier, NVIDIA shows, you know, record jumping revenue, even though they have a, they do have a chip shortage. And also earning outlets suggest, you know, more to come. In late trading so far, you know, the stock is bouncing between small gains and small losses. So not much really movement we see here.
Then we can see revenue soared to you know, 5.66 billion, up 84%. Analysts was, was expecting, you know, adjusted earnings of between 29 per share on revenue of 5.4 billion. And shares are fluctuating between gains and declines after hours. I don't see much much movement here. Let's see what kind of If we're looking here, analysts expecting, you know, expecting dollar sixty-five five in in quarterly numbers here for the earnings per share, but it actually it's dollar eighty. So this is a surprise. So the quarterly numbers here. So the, for the EPS, they beat expectation by 9.09%. That's very, very good. And again, that's very impressive. Consider how old this company is and how much growth they have increased year over year in both net income, income from operations, operating expense, and revenue. So what are my final thoughts about NVIDIA to wrap up this? So to wrap up this video, let's see. to wrap up this, let's let's conclude what happened in Nvidia. We can see Nvidia has a has a nice beat on earnings, revenue, earning before interest and tax. Very nice growth we see here. We know their arm. Acquisition is it's in in place. It's in place so far. We we know that they're they're able to you know weather the storm of the chip shortage. So chip shortage shortage don't really hurt them as much as like some people think they it does. Nvidia has you know. Got a got a deal with Neo. So Nvidia got a deal with Neo. So, so Nvidia is able to basically capture the EV growth. So basically, if you are on, on, if you want to invest in electric vehicle industry, but you're kind of like you know skeptical about how each company behaves, Nvidia could be a possible potential interest for you know if you want to invest in EV space. Because I think EV for NVIDIA is going to be their biggest growth driver. And and then data center and also gaming will be their cash cow. So all, overall, NVIDIA is a great company. And lastly, if you know, if you, I can understand that, you know, not everyone's able to, you know, afford to buy NVIDIA shares, you know, with a share price like this. NVIDIA does have a stock split. So, so basically after... Basically, you know, sometime in July, the share price will be lower, so it's going to be make it, you know, more easy for people, for people to buy sh the, the shares. So that could be a good news. And before I sign off at this video, just want to say that you know I'm not your financial advisor, and whenever you do this, whenever you invest in a stock, please do your own research, and uh, and also please do not copy me. Please do not buy a stock just because you know I mentioned on this video. Good luck investing everyone. Leave a comment below on what do you think NVIDIA's earnings are.